I want to ask uh, Myra Clark Siegel to please join us. And uh, there she is. Uh, Myra is the director of AJC in Westchester and Fairfield. Um, north of New York City. Um, Myra and I have gotten to know each other over the past few days, uh, but it is very clear that we share a passion for Klal Israel, um, a love for the state of Israel and the land of Israel, and an understanding, an understanding, as AJC has been doing for over a, a century now, that there is work to be done, there is meaningful action that can be taken that is effective at changing and making this world a better place, and in this case, specifically, making the condition of our people, Am Yisrael, better than it would be otherwise. And so, Myra, I want to ask you, in the five ministers that we have right now, could you share with us, please, um, just maybe a word about yourself and what it is that we should, can, and, and must be doing right now? Thank you for being here. Thank you, Rabbi Berman. <clears throat> I want to take a moment, first of all. I am both American but Israeli as well. We moved to the United States three years ago um, during the middle of COVID. My daughter was in Saha. My, I have two sons. Um, one of my sons lost his madrich in Sofim, who was also a soldier who was killed. Um, my daughter had five students from her high school in Israel and Jerusalem, from Boyer High School, who were killed. Two of them are her friends. This is not one degree of separation anymore. Our community is zero degrees of separation. And I want to take a moment and share our deep, deep horror and sorrow and solidarity with everyone in Israel. That is, there is no question about that. We are no longer Ashkenazi, Sfaldi. We are no longer on the left or on the right. We are no longer Democrat or Republican. We are no longer any of the divisions that our community has faced in particular over the past year. We are no longer Haredi, Orthodox, Reform, Conservative, con Reconstructionist, or even Agnostic. We are Achdut. We are one Jewish community unified. What we were as a community on October 6th is not what we are as a community from October 7th on. We are united and we are unified. And that is critically important that we continue that unity together because the attack, the despicable, long-planned, horrific, depraved terror attack by Hamas, by Islamic Jihad, and by others had one goal. And that goal is to kill and, and get rid of Israel, the Jewish people, and anyone who stands with Israel. Let's be very clear. These attacks were not only on Israel and on the Jewish people, but Hamas's depravity also killed 40 Muslims, Bedouin, Druze, all massacred by Hamas in the attack. Individuals from 42 countries have been killed, injured, or taken hostage to Gaza. So there is a moment here that each of us has a voice and each of us has a role to stand up for Israel and for the Jewish people and for democracy, because this is nothing less than a targeted attack on all of the above. And as everyone has said already, it is going to get more difficult as the days go by. It has taken exactly three to four days for the narrative in the media and by some leaders to start to change. We have not even finished burying our dead. So now is the time to take action. And I wanna take a couple minutes about that. First of all, thank God we are not helpless. We have Tzaha, we have the Israeli civil society which has stood up and gathered together perhaps as never before. We are organized and we are powerful and I will never apologize for that strength. Now is the time to take action and we need to be laser focused in our efforts. As Dr. Friedman said, we have to take care of ourselves while that enables us to then take care of what we need to do in terms of taking action. And I wanna give you a few examples and we can put them in the chat and we can also share this as follow-up. Every single person on this call has the ability to use your computer. You are doing that by being on this Zoom as it is. So there are certain things you can do. And certain things that we in the Jewish community and in the organized Jewish community and organizations are doing. 
let me just say AJC or American Jewish Committee is the global advocacy organization for the Jewish people. We began it in 1906 and we are regional, we are national and we are global and we are the only organization. If you need information, concrete information, because there is already a campaign of misinformation and disinformation taking place, go to AJC.org. You will have all the information that you need, both in terms of information and how to take action. But we must be laser focused on our efforts. And I'll give you a few examples of what we have done and where you can be involved. Last week, in less than 12 hours, we organized in, in New York City and also in Washington, D.C., so where ambassadors are to the United Nations and where ambassadors are to the United, excuse me, United States, diplomats, ambassadors to the U.N., ambassadors to the United States to gather in solidarity with Israel. In New York City, we gathered over 120 diplomats from 55 countries, all 27 European countries, and those ambassadors were there. The same in Washington, D.C., they stood and stand in solidarity with Israel. This is a world effort against Hamas and its depravity. On Friday, more than 110 Jewish organizations from more than 40 countries joined together in urging the United Nations and all governments to take swift action to secure the immediate and unconditional release of the estimated 200 hostages being held by Hamas after its terror massacre. It is incumbent upon Hamas to return our hostages safely, immediately, and whole. But each of you, beyond what we are doing as organizations, can take action. You can reach out to your members of Congress, to your state officials, to your local officials. Many of them have made public strong statements. Thank them, thank them publicly. Get on Twitter, retweet, and post their positive statements. Continue to reach out to them, because as many people have already said, this is going to get much harder. We've already seen the narrative start to change. It's going to get worse. We need to be that much more unified, that much more laser focused on what we are doing. We are going to need to continue to remind people of the depravity of what Hamas did. They don't care who they attacked, who they injured, who they raped, who they killed and who they took hostage. Continue to reach out to your government officials. We have sample letters that you can use. We need their support today, but as we go forward. For your students, your children, your grandchildren, your relatives who are at university or in high school or in middle school. First of all, ensure that they are reaching out to their administration to ensure that they are doing everything they can to keep Jewish students safe on campus. There are some universities that have put out important statements publicly about standing with Israel. That's important. And we need to keep them focused on this. This is not moral relativism. There is no and buts. There is the Hamas depravity, which is not only keeping our people hostage in Gaza, but they are keeping the Palestinian people hostage in Gaza. That is where the responsibility lies with Hamas. If you are active in a corporation or in the private sector, ensure that you are reaching out to the DEI task forces and committees and make sure that they are not engaging in more relativism. Make sure that you have information. We can provide that. Media, call them out when they are not being factual, call them out publicly. So there are a few things that you can do to take action. It will take 30 seconds to use the link to contact federal, state, and local officials, urging them to stand with Israel and against Hamas terror. It will take you another 30 seconds to urge members to denounce Hamas terror and reaffirm Israel's right to defend itself. Show your support by updating your social media profile picture with our Stand With Israel graphic. And for parents, Tomorrow at 8 p.m., AJC is holding an Advocacy Anywhere Zoom for parents on how to advocate for effective responses to the Israel-Hamas war with some of our experts, including my incredible colleague, Dr. Laura Shaw Frank, who is our director at AJC of our Contemporary Jewish Life Department. And I want to say another thing about students for a moment. 
whether they are in high school, whether they are on campus on universities, whether they are our online warriors, which they are, they are active and they are engaged and they are standing with Israel, even on campuses where they are a minority or in difficult situations. But it's also important that we tell people never to put themselves in harm's way. Never. That's not worth it. What they can do is ensure that they are holding their administrators to accountability and that they are using the keyboards, which they know how to use better than all of us, to stand with Israel and ensure that others continue to stand with Israel. Each of these actions are actions that each of us can take. We stand together in solidarity. We will continue to stand together in solidarity. And we are here as an ongoing resource at AJC.org to help you stand with Israel. And I want to thank you all for joining us today and thank Rabbi Berman and everyone for bringing everybody together because this is how we are going to stand with Israel.